Hello everyone, this is John. Hope you're doing well. I just wanted to talk a bit about the Pirate tool that was just released by Microsoft's AI Red Team last Thursday. Um, definitely a big development for securing AI proactively. Um, just to share kind of like an announcement, uh, Pirate stands for Python Risk Identification Toolkit. Um, this is focusing primarily on generative AI, um, particularly uh, LLMs, aka large language models, and as you probably know, we've, we've seen a huge explosion of, of these LLMs being used throughout organizations over the last year, as well as an increasing uh, dialogue uh, in you know, the governance and the security and the ethics of this AI that's being utilized. Um, so there's all sorts of you know, s scenarios where we could, we could encounter risks, threats, um, bias, with, with these AI systems. Um, so Microsoft's AI Red Team has been, you know, contributing towards this effort of security since 2019. Um, they also released a uh, planning for Red Team kind of like game, uh, blueprint, like game plan um, that could be found here uh, through the Microsoft Learn website. I will be placing all, of, all the associated links in the video description uh, for you. But really, this is something that is coming in responsive. Uh, we're going, we're moving towards regulation of these AI systems. You know, the, the NIST AI RMF. If you aren't already familiar, I would su suggest checking it out. It's the NIST 100 or the AI 100 1 framework came out early last year, as well as the EU AI Act that uh, was finalized last December. And so it's increasing. You know conversations around these. The U.S. is still lacking in, in regulation, um, but you know we, we are we're seeing more and more uh, stakeholders and security professionals and researchers kind of like sounding the alarm on on the need to secure these systems. And you know you think of shadow IT. We're we're soon going to see plenty of shadow AI um, scenarios where. You've got developers using ChatGPT to generate code. Um, we're uploading potentially sensitive data to these LLMs, and if, if that's not being monitored in some way, or, or these practices aren't put in place in some way, you haven't created a culture of understanding secure AI in your organization. It's going to create some problems from you know down the road. So something like Pirate, this Python Risk Identification Toolkit, um, definitely is a huge help and it can be a huge help depending on how you utilize it in your organization to see it from start to finish, you know, from the inputs that you give this LLM to the outputs. So I'm just gonna quickly go over a how-to guide that they provided that can help you get started, okay? So here we are. The Pirate can actually be found on GitHub. So Microsoft just has it there, the AI Red Team um, place all the assets, every everything you need. The README. Um, so this is a great overview of uh, what Pirate is. I want to focus on the how-to guide. It's exactly just like how it works. So there's two ways to kind of go about this. You can essentially create your own prompts um, using templates. You know, it's recommended that you use templates and. We're going to be looking at is as a red teamer. You're looking at various potential inputs that you'd be giving this this target LLM. So instead of creating a prompt for each input, um, it's best to just create one template and then put a variety of different you know pairs or variables within that template. So can here with that what it looks like within Python, of course. Um, you can you can really import any uh, LLM endpoint in here, whether it's, uh, in this example, they use Azure OpenAI. Um, you can also use Hugging Face or OpenAI's Python package. Um, but here, you know, it's going to go through Python and then the uh, prompt, the templates, as I was mentioning, you want to import your prompt template. And in this example, they use food. so. You know, I recently had food item and food location, and it was absolutely terrific. Can't see the rest of that. I don't think it's ter terrible. I think it's terrific. Um, yeah. So utilizing these templates, you'll be able to now. You know, is it is it tacos in Mexico? Is it pretzels in Germany? 
and can evaluate if these statements are objectionable, object, objectionable or not. Um, so that's one way to kind of go about it. The other way is using the AI Red Team's uh, Red Teaming bot that they developed, which uses its own LLM to basically generate ongoing conversations with your target LLM, which is a very like thorough and sufficient way to go about this. So I do recommend using the Red Teaming bot. Um, so what that looks like here, you import that bot and then you still are gonna use a template. So you got your traveler who recently ate food item, food location, and then you have a conversation objective here. Okay, so that objective, essentially, that's that's part of your attack strategy as, as the red teamer. So you, you wanna try to get the other party to say something derogatory or stereotypical based on food item and based on uh, food location, based on the parameters. Right, so then we still have our Azure OpenAI uh, target LLM. And then the red teaming bot <coughs> uses this attack strategy with the conversation objective. Okay, and so this way, you know, you've got a variety of potential inputs and then a variety of potential outputs that you're gonna be testing. Of course, once you have these outputs, you want to focus on scoring them. Um, which, you know, is going to be a job of its own. Uh, the AI Red Team has uh, incorporated the support text classification feature, which will help you score all the outputs here. And this is an example. So if we have our output that is, the, if the output is this is amazing that you get from your target LLM, you have the classifier here. In this case, it's the self-ask GPT classifier. And then, you know, we'll get that score right here, explaining what awe is. Like, you know, it's a feeling of wonder and admiration in response to something vast, wonderful, beautiful. Um, so like, okay, this is good to go. It's nothing sus. We can go, we can go and use this output and mark it as safe. Um, so really, you know, we're, we're seeing the full process from input all the way to output, which is, you know what we want to be doing. We want to see a thorough testing here. Uh, memory case, memory wise, um, you can actually store these conversations. You can uh, uh, retrieve them. You can share them with teammates for deeper analysis and collaboration. Um, the memory interface feature is is really the center of this uh, that the AI Red team has put in place. Uh, primarily, uh, it specializes in JSON files that you can use to uh, share and access this da this data. Um, so this is really kind of just a quick overview. I wanted I wanted folks to see this so they could start um, playing with it themselves. Um, this is free and open source, open access. Just right on GitHub, I will paste the links in this video description. Uh, but really, this is going to arm your organization. If if you are using LLMs, you should be putting this process in place and really seeing on the inputs. You know, is there potential uh, data poisoning that could occur or prompt injection um, on the outputs you know is there data leakage is there sensitive data that your LLM is producing you know on the output and so that's a huge you know concern for in terms of data and privacy bias ethics um, all things that I'm certainly as well uh, personally concerned on I'll be making more video and content as it pertains to governance of AI and uh, yeah, this is a huge first step. So thanks to Microsoft's AI Red Team. And again, check the links in the description. And of course, please subscribe and like if you have not already. And I hope you begin to use this tool as we move towards secure AI and this crazy advancement that we have going on. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.